Here we ask the important yeah. question. Who will win? 666 robots or six fast boys? I think you mean six, 666 zombies. No. They're yes. robots. Yep. Robots that look like zombies? Zombies that run on money? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and here's a scout's worst nightmare right there. We're immediately on fire. It was a good time. Yes. Can you imagine a time when you were not on fire? I don't remember. There was a time? Yeah. There's your hat. Oh, I see it. Okay, uh... Why was that... He was taunting. Why was he doing that? Whenever they get to, they get to a certain point, they all stop and taunt. Huh. Like a checkpoint. Oh. It's for players to catch your breath. Like, you saw every single one of those of the scouts just, like, hone in on that one soldier. Yeah, because you don't taunt in front of a scout. You just don't. You just die. Yeah. Yeah. Who uh, do you think an NVM is the toughest to deal with? Uh, hmm. that's actually a good question. And did one of us just fall into the pit, or probably a robot? I hope so. Yeah. It might depend on the map. Like sometimes when it if it's carrying the bomb, then the the giant scout is the toughest to deal with. Oh. But sometimes it's a tank. Mm -hmm. and sometimes it's a mess of pyros like this. Oh. So it's really depends on the situation given. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, you know, the map itself also plays a big role in that, because if you have a big open area like this, where you can get good splash on, like, the Mad Milk and whatnot, scouts are pretty easy to deal with. However... However, the uh, onslaught of <laughs> pyros is never fun to deal with. The most, I wouldn't say difficult, but the most annoying is definitely the spies for me. Really? Uh, yeah. Uh, mostly because during NVM, I'm, uh, I go as support sniper. And, you know, the whole bit of, like, snipers and, and spies. While I do try to keep my eye out for them, it's just sometimes it's just too many to deal with at once, and everyone's focusing on the robots. Now, don't hey. take offense to this, but how on earth do you not get kicked going sniper in NVM? Oh, no, that's when I just uh, play with my friends. Um, if I was going to play in, in, in like public, I would go pyro. Even then, a lot of pyros get kicked depending on which map. Um, I don't play a lot of NVM, so... Okay, fair enough. I yeah, I don't even really have happen. a... Yeah. Ticket for it, I think. I, I I only play boot camp with friends. Yeah, fair enough. Oh, have mercy! This part. The slow rockets. Yeah, they're slow, but that doesn't make them any less terrifying. Oh, those rockets. Yeah. Let's see things in the world that are slow and terrifying. <laughs> hmm. Killers hey. in a horror movie. What do you call a group of snipers? An embarrassment? Ah. Yes. Oh. Ouch. Yeah, um... Oh, was it over here where one of us got sent into the skybox, or was that later? I think that was earlier. Mm. I don't know, I'll do something with that when I see it. I don't know who that was, but... Yeah. That was unfortunate. Do you know if, uh, Katy Perry's fireworks is copyrighted? That is super copyrighted! Oh, of course it is. Uh, of course. Of course it is. No, because... most music is copyrighted. But you can do a cover of it. Yes, I could. Or I could find yeah. cover of it. <laughs> don't, don't use 
Oh. Stuff. Oh, okay. But you could get a, voice, a scout impersonator to do it. That is true. <laughs> pay Nathan Vetterlin like, $500. I'm not gonna pay him. I mean, sure, I would if he were doing, like, an animation for me, or, or voicing an animation for me. No, he doesn't know how to animate. I'm the animator. What the hell am I talking about? Uh, nah. But if I wanted to commission him to do work for an animation, yeah, I'd pay him. Otherwise, no. And don't judge me for that. Nate's not cheap. No, he's not. No, he's not. Isn't it? Oh god, that sounded terrible, Vash. Think about it. <laughs> In that regard of work, he's not that cheap. In other things, well, you know. I mean, isn't it five hundred dollars to to get him to sing something? I really don't. Don't know. Don't it care. Probably is. I got better things I could spend five hundred dollars on. Yeah, that is true. I wonder if we would get on this conversation and this topic to begin with. Oh right, Katie because Perry. yeah, and covers. <laughs> uh. Anywho, now there's plenty of classical music I could use that would be just as funny. Oh, like. I don't know, I have to go through my it's library. Twelve Overture. <laughs> that would work. That would work super well. <clears throat> Alright. Yeah. Do not... Okay. Nobody say anything about that. I marked him for death and then I started shooting him. I'm just glad you have ammo. You're One gonna be lording this over me ammo? for all of eternity, aren't you? Pretty much. Okay, fair enough. Nope. Are there was ammo right ammo. there! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Not sure your train of thought on that one. Let's hit the heavy. Hit the giant man that has a machine gun. No machine gun. Scouts can't help it. We really yeah. can. We're heavy and we just must attack him. Yep. Because he has the sandwich and we want it. <laughs> well, that's not why I do it. Why do you do it? Why do I do anything? That's a good question. Why are we here? Going to build Socrates on me. Socrates? I was thinking more Plato, but you know that works too. You know, I love it how we've gotten to talking about like philosophy. Oh, we're fighting robots, and that is the end! Philosophy of fighting robots, like... Like, why do we fight the robots? How do we fight the robots? The robots are us.